Welcome everybody to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron, and we are still home, and this time we are hosting the Padres. Remember we were just out at San Diego um, before we played the Pirates, and took care of things pretty handily out there. It's like we're back to playing a day game. And as you see our normal lineup in. And as Polly starting today, we'll see how that knuckleball's going. And Adrian Gonzalez in to lead off for the Padres. And he starts off with a called strike. Another called strike. And that one too low. So it seems the key to hitting Polly is picking out the fastballs and hitting those. which Gonzalez did not do there. We'll bring up Ryan Spillbores. Which the last game we played against them, I don't think he really did anything, but the first two games, he had tremendous days at the plate, even if nobody else in the lineup did. And he's going to start off this at-bat with a hit. So for some reason, Spillbores were just giving us fits. But if he's the only one getting hits, we can we can deal with that. One down, excuse me, one down, one on. Michael Barrett at the plate. He has popped it up, and Polly will field that himself. Joey came over to provide moral support, and Jim Edmonds at the plate now. Who I'm, I don't remember the timeline. Oh, as he pops up. He's got, still got his Cardinals wristband on in this game, but I think he really did play for the Padres for a while at the end of his career, didn't he? I, I seem to remember he went from the it's like Cardinals to the Cubs and then back to, or back to, or then to San Diego, I think. Maybe San Diego was between the Cardinals and the Cubs? I don't, I can't remember now. It's been too long. Anyway. Josh Beckett pitching for the Padres, and he is throwing to Kester, who is going to get a hit in the left. Won't quite roll to the wall, but it does force a left fielder back, and that's going to allow Kester to get in for a double. Off the top of my head, I don't remember who's out there in left for the Padres, but I'm sure we'll find out as we go. Because I think Spillboards is in right. Uh, Marvin at the plate, average at 164. I don't believe he managed to get a hit yesterday. He has a one and one count. Swings and misses. And swings and misses again for strike three. Bring Chief up to the plate. He's been scuffling here lately. Getting some hits here and there, but nothing like what he was when he was batting comfortably over 400. Grounds this one to short. Green with the long throw, but he does make it. Two down now. Terry the last chance to try to drive Kester in. Swing and a miss. This one will be popped foul towards first, but Gonzalez is under it, and that ends the first inning. A hit a piece in the first inning, but nobody scores. We'll go to the second inning. Kevin Kuzminoff will lead things off for the Padres. Yes, I see Jody Garrett is over there and left. I should have remembered that. Anyway, Kuzminoff takes strike one. Takes strike two. Probably actually throwing a lot of fastballs early in this game. 
but the Padre's not biting. Kuzmina flies that into center. Marvin makes the play. That'll bring up Khalil Green. And he looks at strike one. Swing and a miss. And that one grounded sort of towards third, but Polly fields it like it was a bunt and throws it over for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring Jody Garrett to the plate. That pitch in the dirt. That one just off the plate inside. 2-0 and the count. That one in for a strike. Swing and a miss. 2-2. Two and two. This one grounded foul. We'll try it again. And fouled away again. Still two and two. Polly winds and delivers. A swing and a miss. That'll end the top of the second. We're still scoreless. Frank is going to lead things off for the squirrels in the bottom of the second. And he looks at ball one. Looks at strike one. Was a bit of an iffy pitch, but Becca gets the call. That one fouled away. And this one popped up between the mound and the plate, and Beckett fields it for the first out. Tom now at the plate. They both teams still looking to get really anything going. There's a leadoff double, but that was the only real threat. 0-2 the count on Tom, and he swings and misses for the second out. Zach now at the plate. He looks at strike one. Pitch down and in. One and one the count. And that one off the plate as well. That one grounded towards short. Cleo Green picks it up. And that will end the second inning. So, was that six straight outs in the second inning? We'll move to the third. A crab will lead things off for the Padres. And he starts with a 2-0 and count. Fouled away. 2-1. and one. Pops that one up, and Polly will take a few steps in and grab that one. Josh Beckett at the plate, hitting 333. I don't know how many at-bats that's in, but, I mean, as a starter, he's probably got a decent number. Enough for that to be impressive. Has a 1 and 2 count at the moment, though. And that one will be fouled away. Count still 1 and 2. And he swings and misses at the knuckleball for the second out. That'll bring Adrian Gonzalez back at the plate. He struck out looking his first time up. The in-game announcer tells me he has some kind of hit streak going on, but I missed the number. Uh, and he's going to continue that, though. The hit right up the middle. Gets way off of first base for some reason and ends up getting backpicked. I don't know what he was doing there. He started to go for second on a play he had no chance of making second on, and Kester throws behind him and gets tagged out at first. So he'll continue his hit streak, but we... The squirrels are now back at the plate. I had no idea what was going on there. Anyway, Joey's going to get an infield hit. Uh, he did sort of roll into the outfield. A soft roller back up the middle. Polly's showing bunt and fouls the first one away. That pitch nowhere close to the strike zone. One and one. 
That bunt also fouled away. Still showing bunt with a one and two count. Pulls back for a ball two. We're very committed to this bunt. This one, he fouls out. I thought it was going to be good off his bat, but it did roll foul. Kester doubled his first time up, but he's now showing bunt. Pulls back at the last second for ball one. Hit and run. And probably a good thing he did. Probably avoided a double play. Works out like a bunt. Puts Joey on to second. Marvin at the plate. Maybe not who he won up in a clutch situation. Has a one and one count. Make it two and one. Uh, Marvin comes through. Oh, just foul. I thought that was going to be right on the line, but it curves too far foul in left field. Instead, he grounds to second, and Crab ends the inning. So close to a run there, but instead we're still scoreless a third of the way through. And Spillbores leading off for the Padres. He singled his first time up. And he's going to single here, too. He said we... He has been a menace for us. Thankfully, we've kept the rest of the lineup in check. Michael Barrett takes a strike to open this at bat. That one too far outside. Swings and misses on that knuckle. One and two. Runner takes off. Strike out. Throw him out. Two down. So now bases are empty with two outs. Jim Edmonds at the plate. So I had a hiccup there. 0-1. Oh 0-2, and one. Oh and two, swing and a miss. Pops that one foul. Tom should have a play, and he does, and that will end the top half of the inning. We move to the bottom of the fourth. Chief will lead things off for the Squirrels. And first pitch up and out on Chief. And that one in for a strike. Chief lets it go by. Fouls that one away. One and two the count. This one a high hopper. It's going to be an infield hit for Chief. Just slammed that right in front of the plate and it took a high, high hop third by the time it came down Kuzminov didn't have a play so leadoff single for Chief Terry is going to put that one into left center he'll stop it first but Chief will go around over to third so nobody out runners on the corners Frank at the plate we finally really have something cooking here 2-0 and count Beckett's gonna have to go at Frank and he does and Frank lets it go by Pops that one up, but it will make the seats behind home plate. Two and two the count. This one up the middle, and it will get through for a hit. Chief is in to score. So one to nothing, Indianapolis. Runners on first and second, and still nobody out. Tom takes the plate, and he swings and misses at the first pitch. And that one too far inside. Uh, this one grounded to third. Terry actually tagged out at third, but he was gone either way. That's the only out we get, though. So that'll bring Zach to the plate. Still runners on first and second. Only one out. Swing and a miss. 0-2 the count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Big strikeout for Beckett. Joey got a hit his first time up, but if Beckett can get Joey here he's got to feel pretty good only getting out of this inning with one run one and one the count make it two and one that fork ball didn't make it back to the plate a high fastball for strike two popped up Barrett's gonna field this one that'll end the inning one run scored could have been much worse, so the Padres have to feel okay about how that worked out. We move to the fifth inning, and Kuzminov will lead things off for the Padres. And he takes strike one. Takes strike two. And 
And take strike three. Kuzminov watches three straight strikes. Khalil Green now at the plate. Looks at strike one. Swings and misses 0-2. Pops that one up, Polly under it, for out number two. It's popped right back at the mound. Jody Garrett at the plate. He struck out his first time up and looks at strike one here. Swing and a miss, 0-2. And swing and a miss, strike three. Polly keeps cruising along outside of Spillbores. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Polly's actually going to lead things off for us. He struck out bunting his first time up. They have him as strikeout looking. That's not what happened. First pitch is a ball. Second pitch is a strike. Swing and a miss, one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll bring Kester to the plate. Here, he showed bum, but I think he actually did swing and ground out last time up. It just worked out like a bunt. Oh and two, the count. Curveball. Beckett doesn't get the call. One and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll bring Marvin to the plate. He struck out and ground out today. And that fork ball too low. And that curve ball too low. Two and oh the count. Marvin watches a fastball for strike one. Hits that one foul down the first base line. Two and two. This one grounded towards short. Green picks it up, throws it over, and ends the fifth inning. One to nothing, Indianapolis. We move into the sixth inning, and Crab will lead things off for the Padres. I thought his name was Alex. Apparently it's Colix. I really don't remember this guy. Anyway, he has a 1-1 one one count. Or sorry, 0-2 oh count. I thought the first pitch was a ball. They did call that a strike. 0-2 oh the count. And he's fouled a few off now to stay alive. And strike three. Called on a little bit up and out fastball. Josh Beckett at the plate. He takes ball one, his average down to 316. So, tells me he actually has had a solid year at the plate, though he's not done anything today. Two and one the count. Grounds that one. Terry's going to field it and tags Beckett out. Gonzalez at the plate. You'll remember he got a hit and then. Immediately thrown back out, and he took too big of a turn at first, last time up. He has an 0-2 count at the moment. And he'll swing and a miss to end the top of the sixth. So Pauly will end his day with no runs and three hits. Two of those to Spillbores. In the bottom of the sixth, Chief is going to lead things off in the bottom of the sixth. He had an infield hit last time up, a more solid hit up the middle this time. Not the last one was a solid hit. I, that wasn't a good way to put that. There was no third baseman alive that was going to make that play. It was just kind of fluky. Anyway, Terry at the plate now. Nobody out. One runner on first. Has an 0-2 count. And he goes down looking. Nice pitch from Beckett. Frank at the plate. He looks at ball one. Swings and misses. One and one the count. 
He's going to ground that to first. Gonzalez throws to second for the first out. They throw to first, but Frank easily safe there. So runner still on first, just a different runner. Two outs. Tom at the plate, and he takes strike one. Beckett fires a fastball in for strike two. And swing and a miss, and that will end the sixth inning. Still, Padres nothing. Squirrels one. Spillbores is going to lead off the inning for the Padres. and He's two for two today. And we are going to turn to Nakai as soon as... There we go. Uh, Tom made that last out, so Martinez is going to get some time behind the plate. All right, we'll see if we can finally retire Spillbores. And it looks like we will. He pops a foul one down the third base line, but Martinez is able to get down and make the play. So he's finally retired for the day. Michael Barrett at the plate. Looks at ball one. Fouls that one off. It's technically foul tip, but doesn't matter. Nobody on base. One and two the count now after a swing and a miss. And he pops that one up behind second. Joey's going back, and he does make the play. Jim Edmonds at the plate. He's going to ground back to Nakai. He gets it over, and that will bring us to the stretch. Still one to nothing, Squirrels. And here we go. All right, Josh Beckett's still in the game. He's going to pitch to Zach, who takes strike one on the outside corner. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh Beckett winds and delivers a fastball that I think was not Beckett's best, but he's able to get Zach to swing and miss. Beckett finally showing some fatigue. Gets a curveball in for strike one against Joey. Pops that one foul. 0-2 oh, the count. And swing and a miss, strike three. Martinez at the plate. His average has slipped back below 200, sitting at 195. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Beckett throwing like he's gassed out there. But we're not able to take advantage. 0-2 oh, the count. And a called strike three. Iffy pitch, but Beckett gets the call. That'll end the seventh. We're not going to take Martinez out of the game, so we'll double switch Joey's spot. To bring Hermita in to do his setup job. All right. Kuzminoff at the plate. He's flown out and struck out. Swings and misses at the curveball to open this at bat. Going to pop this one up in foul ground, but Chief over to make the play. One down. Khalil Green at the plate. Hermita apparently feeling the curveball today. Grounds to short. Kester throws over and makes it in time. Oh, and to the count. Jody Garrett at the plate. 
First pitch outside. Finally throws a fastball. Gets in a swing and miss on the curve. And a fastball outside. Two and one the count. That curve in the dirt. Three and one. And that'll be a walk. All right. Well, there the other announcer clearly said Alex, but it sounds like the PA announcer says Colix. I don't know what the hell this guy's name is, but he struck out regardless. So, Hermita gets around the two-out walk. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Still one to nothing, Squirrels. Kester at the plate to open things up for the Squirrels. Josh Beckett's still in the game. We'll see if he's able to finish the inning. I kind of have my doubts. Starts Kester off with a 2 0 count. So he's definitely pitching tired. Swing and a miss. 2 and 1. And that one in for a strike to make it 2 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike 3. And that will be it for Beckett. We'll bring in O'Flaherty. Eric O'Flaherty, if anyone is curious. He's going to pitch to Marvin. He struck out and ground out twice. Marvin flipped around to the right side. Looks at strike one. That one too high. Lines that to third for the second out. That'll bring Chief to the plate. He singled his last two times up. Looks at ball one here. And he's going to put that in the center field, but it stays up. I thought it was a hit off the bat, but Edmonds able to make a fairly easy play as it turns out. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth inning, the pitcher spot to lead off for the Padres. For right now, they have Tony Clark. But we are going to turn to Shibuya to try to get the save. So that might change their hitter. We'll see. As I've said it before, it's kind of an unfortunate thing, but I don't know in a video game how you do it differently. That they have to declare their pinch hitter before they'd see what normally you would have seen him warming up to start the inning. And the Padres do turn to a different hitter. Go to Johnny Peralta. Which uh, this game had cor correctly predicted he would be a Cardinal. That was in the, I think, the first season, maybe second season, where uh, in this game they traded, the Cardinals traded Molina for Peralta. Anyway, he grounds out. That'll bring Adrian Gonzalez to the plate. And he takes strike one. And that's a line shot in the left, and it will get down for a hit. So tying run on base, and Spillbores at the plate. Not the most comfortable situation for Shibuya. That one is going to get over Zach's head. He tracks it down quick enough to keep Spillbores at first, but Gonzalez now, the tying run, makes it to third with one out. Michael Barrett at the plate. He swings and misses. Looks at strike two. And lines that one foul. Still 0-2. Swing and a miss. Huge strikeout for Shibuya. Down to the final out. Jim Edmonds at the plate to see if he can tie this game. And he will do so. Lines that one right between the hole on the right side. Drives in a run. And the Padres are going to turn to a pinch runner. Kuzman off at the plate. Shibuya in there to see if he can at least finish out the inning. And looks like he will. Grounds back to the pitcher. He goes to first. But the Padres tie the game at one. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. 
Both teams with one run and six hits. Terry will lead things off for the Squirrels, and he will do so against Neshek. And uh, Josh Bard is going to come in to catch. First pitch in there for a strike. Swing and a miss, strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. I'll bring Frank to the plate. He has gotten a single today. You see a niche up with a very distinctive wind-up. I don't think that's one you can buy on the uh, shop in this game when you create a player. Anyway, Frank has a 1-2 and two count. And he swings and misses to strike out. Down to Phil. And he looks at strike one. And that pitch lined out to short. So we'll move into extras. Khalil Green will lead things off for the Padres in the 10th. And who, who, what do we want to do here? I guess we'll put Zap in for... Phil actually made the last out. We'll do Frank. Quinton into the game. All right, Khalil Green at the plate. He's yet to get a hit today. And he looks at strike one. That pitch inside. This one grounded to second. Oh, and goes through Phil's legs. He's supposed to be one of our best fielders, and he makes a pretty blatant error. So leadoff runner on board, Jody Garrett at the plate, and he gets a hit through the left side. Oh, my, this is not looking great. Crab back at the plate. First pitch too high. Second pitch in for a strike. One and one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And that's going to be fielded by Phil for the first out. Had a chance to get down, but Phil does make the play. Padres going with a pinch hitter. Paul McInulty at the plate. I don't remember this guy either. He takes a strike, now showing bunt. And he does get it down. Sweeney in at third, makes the play at first to make sure it's a sacrifice bunt. Two outs, Adrian Gonzalez at the plate. He's gotten a hit his last couple times up. Looks at ball one. Looks at ball two. That one called strike, although it was iffy. Hits that one foul to make it two and two. Pops that one up, and it does make the screen. Still two and two. And this one will get down for a hit. That's going to score two runs. So our winning streak is in some pretty big peril. And Spillbores, who's three for four today, gotten a hit with every ball he's put in fair territory, has an 0-2 count. This one is going to be a ground out to end the inning, but not before the Padres put two on the board to put some real pressure. So Padres three, Squirrels one. Got to have two runs here, and Zach will lead things off against Heath Bell. Zach hitless today. Two strikeouts and a ground out. Starts with a swing and a miss here. Grounds to third. McAnulty makes a poor throw. 
And Zach able to beat it out before Gonzalez can get back to the base. So we opened up with an error in the top of the 10th, and now the Padres open with an error in the bottom of the 10th. Sweeney at the plate for his first at-bat, has a 2-0 count, and he grounds to short, green over to second for the first out, crab to first, and they do complete the double play. So that bit of hope snuffed out pretty quickly. Ooh, awfully close call at first, but Padres do get the call. And that'll bring Martinez up to the plate. He struck out his first time up. Take strike one. Fouled off, 0-2. And, Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. I don't know how many games we'd won in a row, but the streak comes to an end today in 10 innings. Your final score today, San Diego Padres 3, Indianapolis Squirrels 1. Look at the highlights for today. Say so most of the real action coming very late in the game. The Shibuya not able to hold on for a save today. All right, Gonzalez, your player of the game from getting the winning RBI. So yeah, Nishek would get the win, Bell would get the save, and Zap gets the loss. Uh, we're back up against the Padres again tomorrow. If you'd like to like, share, and save, feel very free. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.